How's it going everyone? My name is Zombie Peter and welcome back to Subnautica. So we have done a little bit of off-camera work. Let me show you. I uh, kind of skipped all the boring stuff, just a lot of resource management, kind of cleaned up the place a little bit, but here it is. Here, here's our new base for now. Uh, it's pretty nice, a little bit kind of spread out. I wish I could connect it somehow, um, but uh, this basically, I didn't want to deal with having to move this again, so this is just gonna stay floating out here forever. But let's let's go ahead and take a little tour here uh, and show all the cool stuff we've done. So first of all, uh, we right next to entrance have our fabricator and something new we built a uh, battery charger. So and now we can recycle and use our battery chargers, which is nice. And then once we go inside, we have a lot of storage, but it is a little bit more organized and it is more spread out, so it's not like a claustrophobic uh, hallway. But we still have one. We still have claustrophobic hallways, so don't worry about that. So first off, we have our titanium and our titanium ingots. We have done a little bit of resource farming, so uh, we should be good, hopefully for a little bit, except for any uh, advanced or specific materials. We just have kind of the rough general basic materials. Here we have our heavy metal locker. Uh, which is gonna contain all of our lead. Don't have a lot of that, didn't really uh, feel the need to pick up any of that. We did. Um, we got a lot of quartz, um, just a little bit of sulfur, a couple of mushrooms in case we need to make a couple more batteries and some coral. Uh, over here we do have more quartz and a lot more copper because we're probably going to be doing a lot more wiring. Uh, for now this is blank or empty, I uh, don't know what we're going to put there yet. Uh, we do have extra storage which is nice. Here we sort of have the intermediate stage where this is where we sort of start processing things a little bit. I know this has been processed but we're just going to leave it here because when we do we're going to turn it into another benzene. Over here we have our precious metals. Uh, which is gonna be our gold and silver. Probably need to get more silver than gold because we're gonna need to make wiring kits. Uh, the gold, really not so much. Um, the lockers are just kind of nice because we couldn't fit, or the, the wall lockers are nice because we couldn't fit another full size locker here. So it does allow us to have a little bit um, more storage and it kind of does separate things apart a little bit so yes i do know that titanium lithium gold copper and silver are metals but damn it just, just let me let me separate it the way i have it this this is my thing let me do it let me have the joke the heavy metal joke and the precious metal joke it's just it's just it's just we're, we're just gonna leave it that way so next up uh, this is sort of where we're gonna dump our uh, rare materials for now. Well, rarer. This is sort of the next step up. Uh, we do have the advanced wiring kit in here. Uh, I didn't really know where else to put it. I could I could put it in this intermediate stage, but I just figured this was kind of to put it there. And then we have a lithium locker. With li Lithium seems like it's going to be the next step up for titanium. Uh, after that, we have our junk. Uh, this is pretty much full of these uh, waterproof lockers. I don't know how to dismantle them. That's probably going to stay there forever. If we have any eggs that we might need if we ever want to hatch anything. Here's where we're going to dump all of our tools when we need to swap anything out. You'll see that we do have something new. We have the Sea Glide. We'll cover that in a second. Uh, we also have a laser cutter and we have every tool made now. But uh, depending on what we're doing, we'll need to swap some of these in and out. Uh, change them around. Uh, next up, we have our... Actually, let's finish storage first. So next up, uh, we have miscellaneous. This is wherever we dump anything that I didn't feel like deserved to be anywhere else. Um, this is all it is right now, but we'll fill it up as we start building more things and having leftovers. Uh, this is just our battery locker, so in case we need to change anything out, this is gonna power cells and batteries. Uh, next up, this is our salt, so any salt we're just gonna dump here, and then we have coral. The reason that we have that salt in this coral here is when you combine them together, you get bleach. Bleach you can use, in, well, you combine them in the fabricator to make bleach, you use bleach in the fabricator to make water, which we have. Hope someone's thirsty, because we made a lot, and we also have, um, you know, first aid kits right next to this, which conveniently has made another one. We'll just dump that in there. All right, after that, we already covered empty, uh, quartz and copper. Uh, over here, this is just going to be all of our plant seeds and stuff. Don't really know what we're doing with that. We're just kind of dumping it there for now. Uh, this is, again, another junk station for now because I couldn't fit it with the waterproof lockers. We still have two uh, yet-to-be-used wall lockers with a nice little view. And uh, you'll notice we have a little bit of glass kind of around all over the place because we had a bunch of glass left over from all my quartz farming. Uh, we have a 
water uh, filtration machine, which produces both salt and water. I don't really need any right now, so we're actually going to leave it full. I'm hoping that means it'll stop drawing on power. Uh, we have a second aquarium. Uh, we have these nifty little seats here. We can kind of just enjoy the view. We can look at our fish, uh, these fish, because this one's just full of peepers, so I don't really want to look at that. But a nice little view in case we ever just want to relax. We also have a bioreactor, which we can dump full of stuff. Um, I dumped it full of some of that creeper vine, but it seems to blow through that pretty quickly. These peepers have been in here forever. I, I don't know if they have a lower power yield and they just slowly chew through them or what, but it takes forever for them to go through these, so I, I probably won't be doing that again, uh, which is also what this locker is for. I'm gonna plan on filling us up full of creep vine so we can just kind of fill it up whenever we need power. You'll notice that we have 800 total power. Uh, it does fluctuate. I believe that things uh, use it like the filtration machine and also, oh yeah, we have a little picture. Whenever we get a cool picture, we're going to set this picture frame to something better than that. That's just for now. But we have the scanner room. We can use the camera to go remotely check out places if we need to, or we can scan selectively for things we want to find, which is how we have been basically farming the shit out of everything, including uh, this one right... Where is it? Is it not there? Uh, I don't know how this works entirely yet, because sometimes things will be there and sometimes they won't be. Uh, there was one called Fragment. It looks like it's alphabetical, so it's not here. Um, Fragment uh, lets us scan for things that we can scan with our scanner. I that It makes sense that you can then use to build more blueprints, which we did. And with that, we actually found quite a few new blueprints. We found the Sea Glide, which, again, I'm going to cover that, but God, it's really annoying. You'll not believe where it was. So with that, we got a couple new blueprints, uh, which we have built. We got the laser cutter, we got that built. Uh, we also got our modification station, we covered that earlier. With the modification station, we already went ahead and we built a thermal blade, which will now cook anything we uh, kill. So if we ever get hungry out in the wilderness, if you want to call it that, we can just kind of take a snack whenever we feel like it. We have also upgraded our oxygen tank, and now let us hold 225 seconds of oxygen, and we've upgraded our fins. Uh, lastly, we got, where is it? The mobile vehicle bay, which also we have built, is now floating on the surface. We've not built a Seamoth yet. We do need to gather all these things together, which we actually have. So we don't really need to do anything, but I was just kind of hoping to, to get all the boring stuff out of the way. Um, just kind of gathered up a whole bunch of resources. Uh, went ahead and kind of cleaned up the place a little bit. And, uh, you know, nothing really important happened except there was one small thing. This is my favorite view by far, by the way. Uh, and you'll also notice that we have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of these uh, spotlights. Because, again, we just had a bunch of leftover glass. And I don't want to fill up this whole thing with it. We still have plenty left over. Uh, just ungodly amounts of quartz. Yeah, so here's the modification stage. We've done everything except for the Cyclops upgrades because we don't have a Cyclops yet. And the Repulsion Cannon because we don't have it. We don't know how to make the Repulsion Cannon. But I feel like I repulse things well enough. You know, just take a look at me and be like, Woo! Weird and new. Don't like it. I'm gonna go away. And this is completely useless. This is absolutely nothing. But I thought it looked cool. So we're just gonna put that in the middle there because it was just a big empty space. Oh, and we have a poster in case things get boring. So, that covers uh, the new base. Man, I am thirsty. Gonna have some of this nice purified water. Mmm, delicious. Now let's go on out and we'll just take a look at the base from the outside. Just kinda enjoy the view. I do have a third camera. I don't know how it happened, but I picked up one of these camera drones and I still have two in here, but somehow it, it made another one. So I have a third camera drone that I don't use. It doesn't do anything, but whatever. We'll just let that sit there. But there you have it. That is everything you've missed except one thing. There was only one important thing that has happened. I didn't answer the radio because I didn't want to progress this through at all. However, uh, there was one random event. This right here. So we were just kind of out gathering resources. All of a sudden, our vision gets a little wonky. And... We get a ghostly image of something that has four eyes and kind of look like it had tentacles, and I've been pretty sure it was an alien. And it said this. What are you? 
pretty spooky stuff. Kind of scared the shit out of me a little bit because I don't know what was going on with the vision. I thought we were being attacked by a warp. I thought we were being attacked by a warper at first, uh, but that did not seem to be the case. So we are going to now progress further. So we need lubricant. We need a power cell. We need a titanium ingot. And we need other stuff that I have already forgotten because remembering things is just too easy. Lead and glass. Well, it's a good thing we have so much glass. So, now we can go build our CMOD, which conveniently our mobile station is... Uh, it didn't float away, did it? Uh, that, oh, there it is. Hey, <laughs> Uh, that was a little nerve-wracking for a second there. Now we have a Seema. It's a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. It's just building it in the middle of the air. Kasploosh! There we go. We can pack this up and take it with us. Uh, I don't think we can pack this up. I think once this is made, it is made. Welcome aboard, Captain. What kind of power does this run off of? Because I feel like I should keep that. It does, there's a temperature, so I, I think there might be a safe temperature range we have. Uh, it does look like the oxygen refills in here, so that's good. I don't know what the 200 above the top is. Uh, I don't know if we can harvest anything with it, but we are gonna go exploring. So let's go ahead, we're gonna grab, uh, Welcome aboard, we're gonna Captain. grab a power cell and a battery, because I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna need. I don't know which it takes. We're going to bring our thermal blade with us, our repair tool, our scanner, and our laser cutter because we won't. We can use this to kind of travel around short distances, and we can use it also to shoot the surface. We don't really need our emergency flotation device. Now, with this, we are going to go exploring. And we certainly do move a heck of a lot faster. So there was some some new guys over here that I wanted to check out. It was on the way to Boop, but we're not going to Boop yet. Um, there's some new shark looking guys over here that I think we saw in an earlier episode once, but kind of didn't want to go. Did I just run over a fish? I think, oh no, you, okay, yeah, you tried to take a bite out of me. That, that probably was not the smartest thing you've ever done. But again, then again, you're a fish, so. The whole thinking thing doesn't really bother you. These guys, hi, what are you? I'm gonna see, first of all, you're probably gonna attack me, right? Yeah, no thanks. So, wow, that actually kind of hurt a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can scan you without dying. Oh, and there's there's a lot of them, I remember. Yep, there is a lot. They're kind of just all over the place. Oop, did not mean to drop that. Definitely want to keep that from you. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it. Stop it right now. Have we actually never scanned you? Now, the reason why I kind of go and scan crazy is because the more things we scan, the more things we can search for from our scanner room. Oddly enough, don't see me. I'm invisible. Yes, this is perfect. I like what you're doing. It's working real good. There we go. Oh, yeah, just a big smile for the camera. There, you did, you did good. I don't know if we can outswim these guys, so we might be having to swap to our uh, sea glide to run away. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't cover it, but it turns out th the sea glide was right outside of our base. Ho, 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 what are you? You are called a bone shark. Nice, as long as I stay by your butt, you should be pretty safe. Okay, that was fun. So actually, let's take this back. I want to show you just how difficult it was to find where this sea glide was. Super, super tough. Probably could never have found it in a billion million years if we didn't have the scanner room telling us exactly where it was. So, the elusive, mysterious hiding place. Oh, here all my spy lights working. The elusive, mysterious hiding place that eluded us forever was in this box right here. Fucking 30 meters away from her base. That's it. That's that's literally all it was. It's just right there. Not that I'm upset about that or anything. The only other real uh, direction we have right now 
is to check out the rest of the alien bases. Um, we did get a little message on our PDA when we were there. We did get the location when we downloaded the alien data of the other alien locations. Here it is, alien facility location. So, I'm pretty sure we have been to neither one of these considering that they're at a depth of 800 meters and the deepest we've ever gone I think was 250-ish. So, uh, a cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform, which is I'm guessing where we was, managed to study alive specimens, probably of the disease, synthesized the antidote for highly infectious bacterium Cara, which is what we are currently infected with. It doesn't seem to affect us so far, but we should probably try to figure that out. And then we have the thermal power facility, which is inside a natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. These other places, I don't believe that we can actually get to. We might stumble across them, but who knows. Oh, and also this is something I noticed. Some of these guys have these green spots all over them. I think that means that they are highly infected with the bacteria. I think that's what we're supposed to get out of that. Um, the cave system that's 200 meters between us and the Aurora crash site, it, it, we kind of scoped that out a little bit with the drone just to see what was in there. It's pretty big. It goes on for a while and uh, there's okay, there's a lot of volcano or volcanic activity down there. Maximum depth reached. Damage imminent. I can only go 200 meters in this thing? But why? I... Me as a person can, oh, that's what the number 200 means, okay. Me as a person can swim deeper than 200 meters. Why can this thing only go to 200? But it does give us a chance we can sort of drop it off somewhere, it's like a checkpoint. Probably don't want to leave it by these sharks because, damn it. Maximum depth reached. Can't harvest anything. They are just, do not like my ship. They are just, just leave me alone, you dicks. Oh, it's because you're, okay, it's a bone shark. I'm just gonna, whatever. Eventually they'll leave me alone, right? That's that's how this works. You'll get tired and bored. Yeah, there you go. Are you still you still following me? No, you you got all tuckered out. Got it. So this will allow us to sort of make deeper trips uh, without having to go all the way back to the surface. We can park this somewhere around 200 meters. Um, if it does break, luckily it's not super material intensive Boy, to build a new one. Okay. Yep. But we do keep trying to dot below that 200 meters, don't we? Not really sure what's out here. We're probably going to need a bigger ship to explore that because this is deep as hell. So instead, I guess we'll just kind of park over near Boop and we'll kind of get some materials out of there because that has some good stuff. We're going to park right here. I don't think he's coming over this way. And we can just kind of jump back and forth and get oxygen whenever we need it. But this will allow us to explore a little bit quicker, a little bit farther. Probably don't need any more quartz at the moment. Uh, that's a heat vent. So one of the things we're going to have to look for, because we will need to start thinking about going deeper. I don't know if we're going to move our base or just build a brand new one, because honestly, that probably would just be easier. Uh, a little bit wasteful material-wise, but who cares? But one of the things we need to start thinking about when we're looking at new spots is uh, power. And one of those power sources we can use is actually thermal power. And we're seeing all these vents and stuff that I'm thinking would probably be the easiest uh, place to build a new base. It's something that's right next to a volcanic vent. I don't know if it seals it off completely. That would be nice because I get burned a lot by these things. I'm hoping that there's a laser door in here because we actually have our laser cutter, which, ah, conveniently, there it is. This is the first time we're using our laser cutter. I don't know how to use it. I apparently need to get right up next to it. But I'm hoping this is going to have some pretty cool stuff behind it. Uh, maybe we can start working on the Cyclops because that is what looks like we're going to need to go deeper. Okay, why did we come in here? What? Just, just to cut another door. Because hiding it behind, behind one sealed door wasn't enough. You need to cut it again. It does seem, though, like this is something that's going to require a lot of batteries. We do. We've only cut 
two doors are already down right there, so it can cut, what, six batteries? So it can cut through six doors. And that's the repulsion cannon. Great! Don't know what that does for us. But we can upgrade it. I mean, I'm always... I was looking for more upgrades, just kind of was hoping for something a little bit, you know, more helpful. Although, I do suppose now, since we have our laser cutter, we could return back to the ship and finally check out what's behind the mysterious door number whatever, because we've run into a couple of these uh, sealed doors. Alright, so here we are, back at the ship, and hopefully there's going to be something pretty cool back here. Prawn Bay and Locker Room. So, also, hopefully there's not too many doors, because we can only cut through six. I don't think there's going to be that many. That, that, that'd be a, a lot of doors, but who knows. We should have everything we need. We have our scanner, we have our repair tool, and we do have our thermal blade in case anything gets a little too friendly. We need to say, hey, uh, step back just a little bit, please. Auxiliary Integrating issues. new PDA data. Some health in case we need it. Sweet offer. Integrating new PDA data. That's the prawn bay. Is there anything else? Luckily, PDAs glow. A battery, which is nice, because I actually don't have one. Probably should have thought of that. More batteries. Jeez. Oh, I really hope we don't need a fire extinguisher. Because I didn't bring one. Apparently, when you repair wires, they just kind of open up. Okay, this is where we're going to get our prawn suit, which I believe is uh, what lets us mine those deposits. So the big chunks of materials that we can't touch, that's, that's what you need a prawn suit for. So where do we start scanning our prawn suit? Because we're gonna need to scan a couple pieces to, to get all the pieces. I think. That's how this seems to work. Are we supposed to be deep here under the pipes? Is this is this benefiting us at all, or are we just here just for our own amusement? I feel like this is not what we're supposed to be doing right now. Black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. You just get four of them. Okay. So, black box, is that going to tell us? We already know why we crashed. I don't know why we care about the black box. Do we care about what we were doing right before we crashed? Seems like information that we shouldn't particularly be concerned with. Can I scan this one? Ah! Maybe I need to put it out first. I'm really glad that they gave us a fire extinguisher because we've had to go all the way back to our base to get the prawn suit. scan one more of these. Okay, sweet, we can build a prawn suit. Hopefully that has a deeper depth than the Seamaw, which I, 200, I thought, I thought it for sure would be better than that. But probably we were supposed to get it much earlier on in the game. We were supposed to actually, you know, scan things a lot sooner than we were scanning them. Not my proudest moment how long it took us to realize to scan things, but whatever. Get some titanium out of it. 
All right, just enough fire extinguisher left to not really do much with. So we should probably be a little selective about our fires. Living quarters. Ooh, I see another fire extinguisher, which we're gonna need, so I'm probably gonna grab that here. Maybe. Luckily, they're providing us with water, so we can stay here even longer. Frontiersman discount? Hell yeah! Chicken and pork, barbecue sliced beef, baked beans, ham and cheese? Can we get all that, or do you have to pick one? Cause like baked beans doesn't seem like a meal to me. Like I, I should be over here with the sides. Oh, garlic bread. Oh, oh, like me some garlic bread. Today's menu, very important. What am I scanning? Single wall show? Our base is gonna be so awesome. We're gonna have all this stuff to put in it. All this vital to survival stuff, like shelves and counters that we're just putting useless boxes on that don't do anything. I would, I will say though, it would be nice to find the recipe for nutrient blocks. Oh wait, actually, can I, can I scan one? Let me. Nope, can't scan it. That'd be too easy. It'd be nice if we could find out how to make them because they don't seem to spoil. Try, try to fix, fix that. No. I guess we're just looking for the black box. Oh, we need to find more codes. Yep, gotta take more posters. Need a decorator. Play some more. Uh, I was hoping that the picture, the code was gonna be on the back of the picture, but that's does not seem to be the case. Wait, what the? Come back for transporting personal items. Can I can I look inside of it? Oh, we can carry more stuff. Can I make more of these bags? Cause you've carried a whole a whole thing full. What is this? A sort what? What? We can put all oh, me. We can carry stuff in our our prawn suit or or our uh, sea mob. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so we can just dump stuff inside of there. Uh, do, 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 probably don't need all this water. I probably don't need this or this. Just kind of keep them to the things we need that are going to be vital. Luckily, we have another fire extinguisher, and we'll just use this and we'll dump that. Okay, there we go. I'm hoping that we can just get, like... No, no, I want, I want to take it. I would like to take... Take it? I probably shouldn't leave this here. Oh, you can't pick it up if it's not empty. Uh, that's okay well that's less than exciting i was hoping that we could carry a bag that was you know full because that's how why bags were made to be carried when you don't carry bags when they're empty you don't just carry them around to put them somewhere and then put stuff in them then take the stuff back out to then move the stuff that's all i'm saying We need to figure out what the code for this is. If I knew who lived in cabin one, that would probably make it a little bit easier. Or the captain's quarters. You would think that they would have the codes somewhere relatively accessible. Relationship contract legal recording. Right. Words. Yep, need more posters. What happens when the fire extinguisher runs out? Can you fill it up again? I don't know. I don't know if you can fill it up again.
okay, none of this is really striking me as codes to get into these other rooms. But I will, I do like these though because we can put them inside. They're basically like the equivalent of the waterproof lockers. So we can kind of just dump them on the floor of our place. You know, because unfortunately the lockers and the wall lockers you need to build. They need to be in an acceptable area. These we can just seem to dump on the floor. So we can just kind of put them wherever if we ever need more space for something. Don't know if there's anything over here. Can we get in there? I don't think we can. So there's no real reason to put out that fire. Just let it burn. I'm kind of thirsty. And hungry. Man, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't really need the titanium. Excuse you. Is there gonna be codes anywhere? Wow, that one's actually pretty cool. I definitely want that one. I was kind of thinking maybe there'd be some codes to get into these locked rooms. Uh, no such luck so far. I'm thinking maybe it might be one of the ones we ran earlier, or one of the ones we read earlier. Sweet offer. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you've never took a ride outside? Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit, the bronze suit. We plan, we plan, we plan got nothing to do till we get star side to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars, you've only got to say it. My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with the meter? Come by cabin one, codes 1869. Sweet! All right, what do we got? More things that I actually don't really need. Shelves? Can I put stuff on the shelves? Because if it's just decoration, that doesn't really help me out all that much. More carry-all. <laughs> Responsible autonomous relationships. Why did we come in here? What is all this stuff that I don't need? But I want, because I don't need it. You know what? We're going to drop the carry-all here. And we're going to take this. And then we're going to take this. And then we're going to take this. And this. What would the code to the captain's quarters be? Uh, we probably missed something. Maybe, is this from the captain? I don't know whose notes these are, but I'm gonna try 1806. There's no zero, so nope, not that. Okay, so we don't have the captain's code. I don't believe really there's anything else we can do here. Um, I'm guessing that's where the black box is, is the captain's quarters. It said it was on the breach on the other side of the wall. I, unless we can get in, I don't think we can get in there. All right, I think that's gonna do it for our adventure into the Aurora. I don't believe there's anything else for us left to do, unless can I get in this door in the back? No, that's, that's closed, all right. So, uh, there we go. We, we kinda, a little recap on the progress that we've made, kinda showed you all the new nifty stuff we built. We can now build a prawn suit. Um, and we can, uh, I, I don't, maybe there's something in here. Is there like a PDA in here? But there you go. Uh, we explored more of the Aurora. There's still even more yet to explore. Um, the only thing I can think is maybe if we get like our propulsion or repulsion cannon, we can move some stuff uh, out of the way because we kind of laser cut through some stuff, but it seems like now there's boxes we have to deal with. Only maybe we can get through this door if we repair this. 
Oh, we can repair this, okay. So then actually, uh, that's where we're gonna leave this off. We're gonna find out what's behind the mysterious door leading to the Seamoth Bay next time. Even though we already have the Seamoth, so it's probably less than exciting. But, there you have it. That is gonna be the end for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you'd like to try this game out for yourself, the link to the game will be down below the description. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by smash that like button. If you want to say hey, leave a comment down below. Subscribe for movies like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Goodbye for now. Until next time.